check it out i like to draw my mom as a cartoon because she's so cute subscribe subscribe right now and stab the like button jab the like and subscribe button now as you can see from the sketch i felt like drawing my mom again and the second to last cartoon version i've done of her and to be clear i've drawn quite a few versions of her i'd show you them but mm, i don't really know where they all are i've been drawing these cartoon moms since i was little when i started to you know get better at the whole art thing i guess i could describe the ones i remember to you if you'd like but i won't know you actually want more of my content until you subscribe and stuff okay struggling artist over here you guys i've been doing art since <laughs> always and having little to no luck generating a following i mean i stuck pretty consistently to being myself and sharing slash doing what i like and posting content somewhat regularly kind of i guess you know when i stopped being scared of posting my art online for just anyone to see but even then i suppose it's not like i've posted all of my art in every single doodle or sketch or finished drawing especially if i hated it my mom has actually supported my artistic inclinations and is always trying to get me to stop letting my fear of failure hold me back which is why i started making what's it called money moves years ago or at least try to uh I'm pulling the trigger on one of my ideas I'd been sharing or hinting at for a few years now on a couple social media sites I'm on. It's um, it's a brand line based on myself called Miss Light Brown Pink. That name is also a childhood nickname of mine based on my skin color, if that wasn't obvious. I've uh, set up an Instagram page now. Go follow me on there, you know, if you want. You wanna. Go do it. I was worried about implementing more of my business ideas and trying to make money as an artist being seen as me trying to, you know, hop on the trend or take advantage of a real issue or even just like me being seen as being insensitive to all these shenanigans that's going on that's just ooh, I really don't like the state of things right now but you know all those kind of things despite the fact that I've always been guys always been trying to do this and by this I mean to make money with my art it's, it is a skill, it is something that I've worked on and grown and got better at over the years since, you know, I first started drawing as a kid, you know, more practice, more better, more better, more great, more great, pay me, you know, um, what was I, uh, well, yeah, I was talking about the whole fear thing so yeah then then I was reminded that well reminded of this and pull this up here it's um building your business and growing your bottom line as a black business owner is activism so that's um something I was reminded of both verbally and in a a post that was sent to me um, and when I read that I was like oh yeah you know cuz clearly I had forgotten and I felt better which is always a good thing feeling better my mom is really smart and even with the stroke that almost caused me to lose her and actually you know changed her mentally because 
that's kind of how strokes work they just f up all your everything in some way some more than others and that's if they survive it was very scary um yeah so even though it changed her mentally she's still really smart still really very smart and i love her of course i love my mom very happy that i love my mom and that she loves me because i know that there's some sadly plenty of parental relationships that are not like that at all so i'm blessed in that regard another reason i draw her of course so yeah um she's cute could i could be biased because she's my mom but objectively she's pretty freaking cute you guys okay and i love her and she's also a pretty good you know was practice for drawing and referencing just for like things you know different hairstyles movements poses expressions even outfits you know that kind of stuff so yeah I just I guess I'm not really sure what else I want to talk about in this. I mean, you can see what I'm doing. Do you want me to talk about my process with it? Well, let's see. My mom likes really long eyelashes since that's what I'm currently working on. She likes mascara, makeup, that sort of thing. She's quite girly, actually. Um, but also has a very like professional, professional and boss vibe like sort of thing her eyelashes are short so like i said she likes putting on mask the type of mascara that darkens them to make them more noticeable or you know lengthens them she did used to like putting on fake eyelashes i think she's still actually interested in those but just hasn't like done it for some reason um and well she has that mug in her hand that cup she's actually quite big on mugs and cups she collects them i would say because she has quite a lot and she keeps buying more like we're already pretty much out of uh cabinet space because of all the mugs that she's bought and so there's like barely enough room for all the cups plus all the mugs that she keeps getting in there it's kind of funny um but the mugs themselves are really nice and cute like you know so that's why i included that because she likes her mugs and what she likes drinking out of her mugs is actually tea i mean don't get me wrong she likes coffee too loves coffee coffee seems to have a weird effect on her sometimes like it'll wake her up but then a lot of times also it would help her go to sleep so it's like i guess depends on the coffee and how it's made other times it doesn't really seem to do much for her other than you know hydrate her quench her thirst kind of thing which i find hilarious me personally i don't like coffee i'm not a fan like it can smell really good and it can also just be like you know tasty (laughs) like in the first few sips or whatever like as i'm drinking it but then that aftertaste that i get is usually just not my thing it's even gross sometimes and i can't even tell you about how my body reacts to it like it just does not agree with my system i actually get like stomach aches or like indigestion or something and so i can't like even when i eat something and drink coffee it's still a problem so yeah 
That's why I included a mug. <laughs> that's that's her thing in these in this cartoon version that I've done of her. She likes her mugs. She likes drinking from her cute mugs. The mugs do have to be cute, by the way. They can't just be, you know, some plain mug with absolutely nothing on it. She likes cute ones, pretty ones, and whatever. Um, I'm not sure if she's ever got one purposely to match her glasses, but I think she did do that one time by accident. Or at least there was something on it that, like made it look like she was coordinated with her glasses and some other accessories it was pretty cool um so yeah with the mug there i just decided to color it and make it really cute uh i lost my train of thought jeez well you know she has like mm, I know I was saying something about the mugs and her glasses. Uh, I really can't remember. <laughs> okay, so. Mm, well, she has mugs with words on it. She has mugs in color. She has mugs that have colors and words on them. And she actually also has a few different pairs of glasses. In fact, currently she has a pair of pink glasses right now. They don't look exactly like the ones I drew on here. They're mostly like a lighter, opaque type of pink and a few darker pink colors, but that's meh. So, with this one, I just wanted to make it more, you know, pretty, almost like pastel -y maybe even vaguely unicorn like because she does have a mug that she refers to as her unicorn mug and that's because it's like a soft pastel and cream colored and it has this this metallic shine to it that makes the colors like reflect shiny and reflective um and it's real cute But in regards to just, I don't know, everything about this, the idea that I had for this drawing was that I wanted to do that um, flower crown aesthetic thing, because I don't think I've ever actually drawn that out before, and I decided to just use my mom as the one to do it with. And I think it turned out really well with the end results. The background actually, you know, was hard to decide a color on because I just wanted a solid background because that also seemed to be a thing um, for this look. And if you're wondering why she's super duper blonde, in this version of herself it's because she dyed her hair well bleached her hair I should say she decided that she, this time dyeing her hair she wanted a full head of blonde hair and that she didn't just want it blonde but a light blonde like almost platinum blonde so I decided to go ahead and do that for the hair of her cartoon character because that's something I've always tried to stick to as I recall in showcasing like her most current hairstyle in whatever drawing that I do with her. I've done it before with you know her short hairstyles or spiky hairstyles when she's dyed her hair uh, red and stuff. Speaking of red, she is a uh, big fan of red lipstick lipsticks in general but she seems to like red a lot and dark pinks maybe just pink definitely reds mm. so I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking at this point because I don't have much else to say really except jab that like and subscribe button come on do it you know you want to you know you want to jab it 
like it you like this art you like my art you like how my cartoon mom looks because she's cute does she look like you does she remind you of your mom something show some support show me some love come on help me out and yeah i'm gonna end it here i hope you guys enjoy and just you know keep watching till the end i mean almost done flower crown still has to be there but remember i do artsy stuff so come on and join in so that you can stay notified on what it is i'm doing and creating because i do a lot of stuff okay bye